any card, out loud. Five of clubs. Five of clubs, name a number, less than 52. Uh, seven. Seven. Would you be impressed if the, I'm sorry, what card did you say, five of clubs? Was the seventh card down in this pack? Would that be I'd impressive? Be very impressed. That wouldn't be impressive, and I'll tell you why. I've been holding on to this deck the entire time. What would be impressive is if the, uh, the four of spades was in a deck of cards I haven't touched, right? A deck of cards I haven't gone anywhere near. That would be the most impressive, wouldn't it? And I haven't gone anywhere near this thing, have I? It's been sitting here the entire time. Check it out, right? You haven't even touched it. Haven't even touched it. That's all the cards? Take those. I want you to deal one at a time, six cards face up on the bar. Face up, face up, so you can see them as they're coming out. Two. Stop right there. That's the seventh card? Yep. Think about the impossibility of this, right? I haven't gone anywhere near it. You named any card, you named any number. Have a sneaky peek at it. Left. Hand it to me. Five of clubs. Right on. <laughs> Give it to me. Three of clubs. Imagine a classic of magic taken to a place that's never been taken before. Any card, any number. Somebody names any card, another, any position in the pack. And that card is at that position, and you've gone absolutely nowhere near the deck. Imagine better yet, there's no complicated math you have to do in your head, and it's virtually moveless. Believe it, with Patrick Redford's Any Card at Any Number.